tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Henry the Messenger Zahudo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. He's made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Spinning back fist. Nice punch by Adesanya. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, it looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And they separate. Now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the campus. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, throw it. Oh! He's a close one. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice.
Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Adesanya's pass is denied. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to his feet. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, with that, we now present round Ready? two. Israel Ready? Adesanya versus Henry Cejudo. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautifully timed and place kick there by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Look at Oh, he might be out. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Got the single collar tie. Misses with the right hand. A beautiful, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do with it. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh! He's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind oh! you. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Official, but 61 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with 50. Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet! Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when we're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a here in the not too distant future. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second. Oh! Round. He's out! He got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the most extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Come on, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, 
getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish,